Who won game one? So we're coming in with Lowry and the Sponge. And the game has, well, it started a while ago. We're just getting back into it. I'm uh, caught up. I have caught up. Okay, I just jumped in, so I haven't quite caught up yet. So it looks like the Sponge is... Okay, both players are fairly evenly set up. The Sponge went for Cloakie Bot Factory. As far as I can tell, managed to push out. Unfortunately, didn't see the early game moves. Loudy also going for Cloakie Bot Factory, getting an airplane plant. We're at the 540 mark here. Didn't manage to see the early parts of the game, but we are now in, so... Yeah, what we just saw was uh, a textbook move from uh, Sponge, where he groups up uh, about five to eight glaives and tries to run into your base. Um, it didn't work out. He did see the air craft plant get started. Um, <clears throat> but only started. The aircraft plant's not even going. almost the same, and Laurie has a slight eco advantage, but he's about to lose it because he's uh, going to lose those metal extractors at the top. I am. Sponge does not send one glaive to the left to look for those three maxes. He keeps no, but he does send. Together. He sends three glaives to the right. Unfortunately, into a warrior, able to get rid of two maxes, but still, that warrior is going to be a problem. Although, actually, uh, doing a very nice job in distracting it. Loudly not paying attention to that warrior, losing all three maxes. Nice kill on that economy. And now he's going, going for the left corner, but I think no, that yeah, left Lord corner is going to be disturbed. open. Loudly's going to lose this. I mean, he's going to lose this left corner. I don't think he's going to lose the game at this point. Oh, you lose one or two maxes. But he keeps the constructor and he keeps one max. Yes. Sponge the, uh, does did you see how we uh, put high priority on the constructor to finish the laser turret in time? That was a good move. Something you should ah. definitely try yourself when you're playing. Yes, I mean, I've mentioned before in the economy tutorial that that priority is an important thing to do because it makes sure that what you need built is built now rather than just pushing a bunch of workers onto it or stopping other construction. Just set priority up, and it gets all the resources first. Which... Now, Sponge has a nice uh, attack party on the right. Um, he's going to mop up, trying to mop up the cluster free in the lower center. Well, Lauda going for a counter attack, and his the Sponge's Zeus's are coming in way too late. There is a Zeus Lotus. Search, they'll never catch it. up with the. No, the Lotus will not be enough either. The Rockets will get rid of it with, before the Warriors even come close. And this, this down is the downside goes. of Zeus's. Um, Major you downside. You kind of have to know where they. Actually, for that matter, what does the sponge have for vision? He does. Let's see. He knows about. Well, he doesn't have the income force now. He had radar on that force. He could have seen it coming in, but I think he was focused on the, his own attack in the meantime. While Lowry, on the other hand, he's only got radar coverage of the center of the map. He yep. doesn't actually know what's going on line of sight wise at the center. He does have the south taken though. Or. Well, the Zeus got rid of the Warriors. did make a couple tough. mistakes with the Warriors. He didn't have to lose them. He... No, Zeus unfortunately he didn't. So, shots off. Lowry does have... Lowry does have a good idea of where the sponge is, but he doesn't know what the sponge actually has the center. Lowry is attacking from two sides now, also the left one, with a, a single Roko and Warrior. Yes, and that is actually doing a really nice that job. That so works out very well. Although, the sponge will be able to clean up with Glaives. He's, yeah, he cleaned but now south he's, while again, the west he's side taking a lot of damage. All his glaives together in one group, while he doesn't need all of those to take the on the free rocos. And now he gives up fishing on the right side of the map and the left side of the map. Yeah, the right side of the map is was never really vision for anybody, but the left side of the map, l the sponge is getting pretty. This is a really heavy counterattack. Oh, glaives managed to big, clean up the rocos, but still, big clump of Zeus's. Um, he's retreating all of them. No, he's now he's sending a couple back. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Shouldn't open up the center if he doesn't have to. The glaives exactly. will be able to take care of this. Or the glaives and Zeus will be able to take care of the warrior. I said the glaives alone will be able to take care of the warrior. There aren't that many. There are too many glaives that warrior to deal with. And, and with the nice Zeus, though. that helps out completely. Uh, combo with the Zeus and the, and, and the, the glaive. Stun well, that was a then, very good combo. So the sponge managed to hold that off. Does keep his workers off to the side. That also good to do. Keep his workers off to the side is a very safe thing to do. Keeps them from getting killed unduly. Lori keeps pressing the right side. No, he wants to attack the center. Wow. He does have a couple oh, more units yeah, uh, that's, here. That's a risky flank, though. He's going to have to be careful with the Warriors. The Rockers will be fine, but the Warriors are going to have the problem with the Zeus's. With four and Zeus's and side, five Zeus's in play. No, that center should not be attacked. 
but uh, Sponge is doing a raid. Well, glaive raid again. He is going for glaive raid in the northwest side of the map, and there are a couple ravens, by the way, for Lowry, which would be a yeah. bit Sponge of a problem. Sponge did see the air lapse started, but he hasn't reacted to it yet. He made no. his own, but he didn't. Fighters. Well, the air lab was actually up for about, well, in the nano frame mode for about five minutes before it actually got built. So I don't even know yeah. if the sponge is confident that it exists. I mean, the sponge knows that there was something there. He does have, oops, he does have knowledge that there was an air fact, but he might have forgotten it. It was not. It's not on his like through the fog of war history vision. Uh, so he might have just forgotten about it. Apparently, nano frames don't show up in that. But he will find out soon enough. There are three ravens in play and a fourth being built. The glaive is, however, nicely able to knock out some of this. Getting rid of the center, getting rid of quite a lot of Lowry's economy, though Lowry, he's pushed pretty hard into the center. I think it's not going to be the biggest problem. But yes, the entire center, entire northwest side of the map has been cleared out. No one has it. But Lowry still, well, 21 metal, although he's falling behind. Part of it being reclaimed, but a lot of it being just straight up metal economy. The Sponge Zeus pushing through with the Zeus. The Zeus is so has grown so big. This is a Zeus this is coming in, not in a problem. line, unfortunately. But I don't think Zeus is care as much about friendly fire as other units. So they certainly do not care about uh, light defenses. No, they do not. And down they go, and oh, everything needs to move back. Well, at the same time, they bombed each other. Sponge <laughs> went for Sponge went for Ravens as well. So down goes they, clone, yeah. or Lowry's commander's gone down. Sponge's commander. Has also gone down. Good point. Yep. <laughs> Simultaneous destruction. C Simultaneous comp snipe while the Zeus is attacked. But that being said, the Zeus is attacking like that. I'd say it's the Sponge's game. It's his game to lose. Lowry going for a nice harassment over the southwest Lowry side of the map. Lowry doesn't put his south uh, side of the map. Rokos forward to start kiting those uh, Zeus. No. He has time and the space to do so, but he's keeping them back. It's a missed it's, opportunity. Yeah, unfortunately, because they do not do well in a choke point in this case. Zeus and Rover uh, are pulling back, but even oh, there's then... there's a big counterattack on the south still, and the Zeus yes, the will never be back in time. But the Rockers and Warriors in the south are here, but the Ravens are also here. It's a matter of... Oh, unfortunately, only one of the Ravens is actually capable of bombing. It's funny to see how little metal income they have at the moment. Yeah, 16 versus 17. Pretty close to even at this point, thanks to all the harassment. One of the Ravens does come in, only damages the word, does not kill it. There's... Glaive is coming in for defense, however, so the Sponge does have this attack defended against. The Warrior's yep, gone down, the, the Rocker's gonna go out. And runs over with the Glaive, nice. That is definitely a way it? to defend. Now that I'm is waiting for defend. the first Phoenix to bomb those Rokos. Well, we'll see when the... I don't even know when the Phoenixes are coming. Raven coming in to try to deal with the Zeuses, but it doesn't even get the chance. The Hawks come in and tear it apart. Ah, the second Raven no comes fun. in. That second Raven will be able to drop his bomb, just barely. Damages the Zeus, but even then that's not enough. Lowry, however, his counterattack is fairly powerful, but the Zeus wall, like you said, is ridiculous right now. Uh, and the Rogos are back. failing their auto attack. They yeah, with this terrain, I'm not surprised. They can't. They have nowhere to back up to. Uh, they can't go down that cliff. Types. Yeah, too many bombers now, and the fighters are just taking them out of the sky one by one. So at this point, Sponge moving. Woo! Sponge moving with a counter glaive attack. Should be able to tear out Lowry's forces, and once that happens, I think Lowry might throw in the towel. The sponge is only weakness, so he has no energy. His wind generators are it. He only has nine energy coming in from that, too. So he is well, starting to stall. sponge doesn't have that much uh, economy going at all. No. He doesn't have much constructors out, either. If he gets more <laughs> energy, he should be fine, but at this point, he is going to be... He's e-stalled. He well, needs to start building end, more. He's Lowry only got is, one factory uh, going for Reclaiming, expanding, and rebuilding. Sponge yeah, Lowry's keeps... actually, he is pushing really hard. He's got 31 energy, 33 metal. He was metal stalls, so reclaim is great for him. While the sponge, on the other hand, can't make reclaim work. Which is going to be a ma it's going to be a major problem. He's getting more wind generators desperately in order to try to get himself back into the game and make his caretaker useful. But he has too many factories and too many caretakers for what metal he has, or what energy, rather, at this point he has. Yep, and now uh, Lowry Not a, he's has trying to mobile deal with his plays, but... Because he cannot win the air war. No, he is. Yes, he is definitely going for gremlins. That is going to be a problem for the sponge. But at the same time, the sponge coming with the glaives, getting rid of all the rockers in the center of the map. If he spots the gremlins, they are dead as well. And he's going to spot the gremlins. One of the gremlins reveals itself. And the glaives should be coming in to deal with that. Two of them do, actually. Lowry. Oh, Lowry GG. That's game. Yeah, that's it.
Okay, so we are on to game three, apparently. Since wow. Lowry apparently won I didn't game expect one. Uh, Sponge to win this one, but the uh, he won the air war and that Lori couldn't take it back. That sealed it. Still, that was a really fun two thirds of a game. So, <laughs> yeah, back was. with another full game in just a moment. So stay tuned. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game three of Lowry versus the Sponge. It's going to be, well, pretty exciting. It's going to be on Red Comet, which you all know my opinion on Red Comet. I will not <laughs> go over not it again. Let's not I love it. <laughs> lots of vehicles, lots of metal, lots of rating. So, anyway, small update. It's being considered that Sackdoth and Iverking are not in, so we might go for a buy on those on Randy and Google Frog. So it's quite likely that Randy and Clone are going to be semifinals, and Google Frog and the winner of Lowry and the Sponge will be semifinals. And that will be up shortly. So yeah, right now, Lowry and the Sponge, Clone, as we saw before, beat Yurga 2-0. And there's not much more to say about that, so we'll just wait until the players are set up, which should be fairly soon. Just waiting for the Sponge to get his positioning. eventually so anyway once that's done there we go okay the sponge has positioned himself the game is about to start the sponge starting on the southwest side of the map going for light vehicle factory while Lowry is starting on the northeast side going for hover wow we've seen a lot of hover i think it's the single most used factory this entire tournament thus far is the hovercraft yeah, factory me? well he had two game no sorry it's yeah, actually, it could be. I don't know what happened game one, though. This is a big risk. Uh... So Cloaky could actually be taking the prize. But yes, this is a big risk, but something that it's not uncommon Lori's taking here. Now. He's going for a Godet play. Incidentally, where is Godet? That's Buddy, uh, uh, is he even in the tournament? No, not. That's what I mean. Uh, he's probably doing other stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Anyway, we do have... Okay, so this is, yeah, like I said, this is the play that Golda had liked to do a while ago, where you go for four or five scrubbers and just kill everything. It can be done, but you have to be very careful about positioning due to the fact that they are line splash. Still, it it can work and has worked, and it is scaring away the Sponge's scouts, but the Sponge has seen quite a lot. So he knows he knows the basics, he doesn't know what factory, well, he knows the factory now, he doesn't know where the factory is, and he knows roughly where Lowry is. Lowry, but on the it, other hand... It's uh, important to point out here is that no, it's not Sponge right. has a constructor out while uh, Lowry doesn't. So uh, Sponge's economy will grow twice as fast from here. Oh, that's true. And he is going to the north. Not going to be too has, risky. He just... has not seen any cons by Lowry. So he can sit back a bit and defend that constructor and his commander. Yeah. And, and he'll that... be in a better position uh, in about two minutes. Very nice defensive play. He does have... He is playing it close to the chest. But moving he is forward uh, slowly. exposing that constructor way too much. I don't know, one like, well, yeah, one Lotus might He doesn't be see what's happening forward. on the top side of Red Comet over here. No, he doesn't, but, well, that's this. That's uh, always a very big risk on Red Comet, is that if this location can be hit easily if you do not cover this part of the map with line of sight. No, so he's not, like I said, this is very much a defensive play. He's not going, if you went for the top no left corner and expanded back. No defensive turrets in the, at this factory, but the Scorch is... Scare the scrubbers away. Yeah, Scorch is too Now, Laurie has his own uh, constructor, and his commander reached the metal spot. Yes, that did happen. However, what I was about to say was, I guess take the northwest. If you just go for there immediately and then go down to join up the bases. Well, Probably Sponge, an easy way of covering um, the north side. Just started his first metal extractor outside of his starting uh, cluster. Despite him having a... Uh, construct route early. He didn't use it for economy. He made a turret and he made units. No, he made a metal extractor. He made a turret oh, and yeah, metal extractor. Oh, it got killed. Okay, one. Yeah, this but, is the second one outside of his base. Uh, yeah, with his commander now. But he didn't use that advantage as much as he could. No, unfortunately could he didn't. So the sponge oh, hover is still... He's at least even on economy, but yes, he didn't... That early worker could have been a bit more useful. I mean, if he had gone in, I think Okay, I'm thinking northwest. He would have covered that north side. 
Lowry wouldn't have seen it in time. He probably would have had time to build the defend the Lotus as well as get the metal extractors, and then could have just gone in. Admittedly, his light vehicle First plant base. wouldn't have been as well covered, but the scorches the scorches would work for that. And yes, we do have the first mace. Mace and I think four scrubbers at this point. And the scrubbers are going along the north side. And this is exactly what you were talking about. Scrubbers coming from the north side. And we'll be able to tear apart this metal extractor and probably the mason once again. So the if, sponge... they, if he can put on the, the scrubbers and hold fire now to get the first shot on the laser turret, he can overrun that position. If he takes the first shot on the metal extractor, then he cannot, I He's think. He's not going to hold position. Or hold fire, rather. He's not doing that at all. And there's a level of this. Standing to... still. Sponge tried to actually push the leveler, but has to retreat with that. He's going back. No, he's oh. attacking. I just oh. want to take off the metal extractor and leave. But he's yeah, the not leveler. Work. It was he was too slow. He was uh, indecisive. Probably his attention was at uh, his mace. He doesn't have lock. Oh, he does have lock camera. I can watch with him. Yeah, it would seem that Lowry does. He's got, yeah, he's got all the attention on the back lines, not really focused too much on the front lines. But he is, does have this one scrubber. <laughs> on the That's lower, not yeah. doing much, unfortunately. That mace can uh, run over those two LTs. Yep. And it will do, no, it uh, won't do exactly that. Well. Lowry, once again, moving back. He is, I think, playing a bit uh, too defensive. Good. He's going, he's gone worst. hovercraft against light vehicle. He has to fight. Yeah. Well, those mazes are evil if you uh, get to fight Scorches. Yeah, but it's just between the high alpha scrubbers and the fact that there isn't a whole lot in the way of just stationary defense compared to light vehicles with slashers and not a whole lot in the way of splash damage directly, I think just has to try to keep the numbers down. Like keep Lowry's sorry, keep the sponges and numbers down, just attack. Harass and here's and the air high switch. alpha coming in that the alone does a lot. I'm sorry, which switch, sir? Air switch. Oh, for the sponge, yes, there is. Right here. Airplane factory being built up, minute and a half left, but it will be up well. Lowry is, well, he is going to start getting attacked by the Scorchers here. Both starting. Nice flank though. Uh, he does have a, he did get a flank on them, but unfortunately couldn't make the most of it. His own forces did not waste. come in time. Sponge is accessing metal. He is. He'll need more energy caretakers. Getting one caretaker, but only with two workers, that's not going to be enough. Actually, he is a little bit low in energy. It looks like he is spending his energy elsewhere. It's an interesting Man, it's choice of commander also. Yeah, what is he going for? Beam laser recon com. Opposed without to... uh, module. Without what module? Oh, ride cannon as well for Europa. Sorry, lower race commander is called Europa. <sighs> but yes, the... Well, yeah, he doesn't have armor plates or speed module. Usually armor plates. That's what he's well, the thing is, nowadays. I wanted to point out that he didn't take any module at all. Which pick doesn't really matter. <laughs> but whatever. That's true. Uh, I think he that's mazes the against doing uh, now, though, Ravagers, but he has to... Uh, I want to see if uh, Lori will spot the air factory. He hasn't yet. I'm on this light of sight now. And no. he doesn't see it. He goes no, uh, south. south. No, Lowry has not seen... He only knows there's just there are he a couple power plants there. He doesn't know anything. He else. must be wondering why there's no metal extractor at that particular spot. But he was well, looking for it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. You usually would expect metal extractors in those center spots because most of the times players yeah. will expand gradually. Well, the sponge did a bit of a jump. It's a small jump. Like he only skipped uh, one point. This is this is the moment in the game where you want to look for uh, factory switches. Yeah, seven, six, seven minutes in the game, that's when air happens. Forward the radar might be a good idea. Well, all this, he has two scrubbers that are coming in. They're coming around the side, but they yep. are going to hit the levelers, or the levelers going to hit them, rather. Going to hit them very hard. One scrubber Maybe goes one down. Pass. The other no, scrubber, no, why is he going for the leveler? Oh, that's a waste of a scrubber. I didn't have his attention on the scrubber. No, he did not, unfortunately, which means he can't easily scout this out. First rave is up, and it's kind of a shame, too, because flails are really powerful anti-air. He does have some scalpels, however. So he has some flex Maces AA. should also work. <laughs> if the bomber dives, it will be dead. Yes, but the mace, the scalpels at least are flex <laughs> AA. So there goes that... Wow, actually, did he even get a shot off? I think he missed. No, I didn't. It, 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 I think it died before it dropped the bomb. Yeah, so that's at least... No, it dropped the bomb, but I think it missed with it. So at least that is... Oh, that's crap. That looks like can the, at least deal with. the quill have suffered from a bug. 
and also levelers. They suffered from levelers quite heavily. Yes, it was definitely. a short, it was a short life, a short death, brief and painful. But they're still a ravageable. Uh, <laughs> ravageable is being care built of. up this entire game. I was kind of pointing it out earlier, just with my camera. But yes, there are about eight ravagers coming in here. And Lowry does have a good counter for us. He does have the scalpels, exactly what he needs to have. The mace can work as a bit of a tank, but the scalpels are the big question. Two ravagers go. Oh, not even. Wow. I think actually. his army will be uh, able to deal with this. Well, we'll be able to push it away, but the sponge doesn't want to engage right now. No, the sponge is engaging. Never mind. He's turned back around and he is engaging. Not in the best position. There wasn't a line for those uh, ravagers, it's... and those ravagers are going to go down. Maybe they don't get one shotted by scalpels, but they sure get two shotted. Ouch. Lost half of those Ravagers for nothing. Nice metal donation. I am sure that Lowry appreciates it. Definitely. He's a polite guy. He will uh, thank uh, Sponge for that. Yes. Now all he has to do is get a charity tax receipt, and then and, everything should be sorted. And do not bother with this wall of defenders and just go around, as someone is pointing out. Yeah, because it uh, you, you has the, no the, artillery. The, or he has Penetrator, but that's really too expensive. No, don't go in! What? He's lost... <laughs> already lost two scalpels! That, or no, two maces! He has even worse! Just, this is... Uh, it's the scalpels... This, I mean, these defenders the aren't the doing anything. Are tanks. Just attack anywhere else but there. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that there is anywhere else to attack. I mean, his... Right now, he doesn't even is. know... No, he doesn't have radar! He doesn't actually know what's going on over on the west side. He knows there's an airfax somewhere. There's a radar. He has it in the middle of the map. Yeah, but if you check only his vision, he only knows about all these dots in the south side where, and he doesn't even know a whole lot of what's there, where the sponge has been set up for a while. He doesn't know anything in the sponge's base. He has no information about that. Uh, so he is, he can't know right now where to attack. I mean, he probably can infer. He definitely infer, but he doesn't have visual confirmation. However, uh, flails he, are up he, with, he, he knows there we go. Well, he also knows that he has That's plenty of bombers. Yeah, into the defender nest between the flails and the scalpels. That was a bit of a waste. <laughs> However, Ravager Ball is coming in as a bit of a counterattack. Those flails won't do any good, but the scalpels will. And the defender nest actually losing all his missiles, tanking. It's, everything's tanked by one Ravager. The rest of the Ravagers are able to destroy the defender nest and Lowry out of position as well. All of his forces have to retreat. And they will be in a bit of a flanking maneuver position, but unfortunately that's not enough. The Ravagers are able to tear apart the majority of this base. And a few scalpels come in to try to help out, but not even killing one Ravager. And these Ravagers are living up to their name, ravaging the countryside, tearing apart every single defense structure in their way, and a few mechs as well for good measure. So and now it's around. Stardust time. Yes, running into a Stardust, but deciding against it, which really they, doesn't matter. But at this point, second Stardust haven't been built. Lowry sets himself up for defense against Raiders. Unfortunately, that's when these are not. Ravagers are very much not Raiders. They are, however, going to be countered by the Scalpels decently well. Losing two more Ravagers, but at this point, the Sponge actually slightly behind an economy. He's still been donating metal. I mean, he kills a metal yes, strategy. He has and been behind in income the entire game. That being said, that was a major defender nest. Now the Ravens are free to move about. They don't have anything to worry about. They're not going to be killed by... Okay, they have the Flails to worry about, but they can kill those pretty easily. And the Flails aren't even being targeted, however. Nope, he's no, going he for the Commander's the Knife. That was that was his target. The Flail, however, it'll take a few hits. It takes about three oh, hits to kill a Flail. Freaking is here. Maybe we can get oh. him to play his game still. Yes, we do have Although our game. Although he's an hour so. late, but... That's fine. I've got plenty of time. I mean, it's only 3 a.m. Yeah, exactly. It will be a while before the uh, sun comes up. Yeah, dawn. My favorite time of the day. I'll actually be able to see <laughs> it this time. Normally I get uh, up too late. <laughs> or you can just close the curtains. What? No, I like dawn. Anyway. Oh, okay. Like dawn. <laughs> that is not what's pe going on right now. Don't deceive the viewers. <laughs> there are no gunship plants being built. Oh, but the gunship plant does not exist. retreating, and he has repaired all his ravages, which is a very That's the this is ravages. a very sectophian. Let's make it a word now. Um, way of playing by working that location and doing raids with ravagers and repairing them, or with uh, uh, the tank well, uh, from the tank factory. Certainly working out. I mean, it is coming in and. Getting rid of... Well, actually, 
Not as much. The big the big story was the Defender Nest. Once that went down, the Ravens had a chance to move about. If he gets rid of the Flails, then he has complete free reign. Although the Flails are over to the north, so that's going to be a bit hard. But still, the Ravagers are able to get rid of another mace. Still getting clumped up. It's a bit of a problem for them. Those scalpels do wonders against clumped up units. It's not doing that much good from over. There. But the thing is, um, Laurie isn't really reacting to the air. No, he's going he for shield bot. down here a shield what? bot factory. Yeah, I think he wants to make uh, shields or felon ball probably. Although I think uh, he might be you, thinking. Of, why oh, would you make a felon ball? Well, it's I mean, it used to be that because the way that. Life Eagles is set up. Shields did a really good job against them because all the overlapping Maybe shields are hard to penetrate. Maybe just spam uh, roaches. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. Because ah. uh, Sponge always clumps up his... Uh, there we go. Even... Yeah, if he, does, if he puts them in hole fire and hole position, that will work really well. Uh, this will work wonders. Yeah, landmines. That, given how much they clump up, you're right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Sponge Although, doesn't micro his units against crawling units, or uh, bombs, or AOE. I, no. I haven't seen much people do that at all, by the way. Which is actually surprising, given line move. But yeah, Sponge isn't really going for line moves very much. He's going for direct point moves. And also when he has... You can always also make a uh, draw a square nice. with units, and use control for movement. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, if you hold control, it will automatically put them in position. But I think he'd probably go for the line first, if he's going to go for anything. But he's going pure point micro. Which is very surprising. Uh, let's just make the collision detection go nuts. And maybe you can try to leg out your opponent. Well, that's not going to work <laughs> out too much. Both hey, he, Lowry's only using 10% of his CPU right now. He's fine. He's not going to lag out in a 1v1. No, Not the way to go. But yeah, point micro everywhere. I don't know why Sponge is going for that. I'm curious okay, if there's a reason. No, there are... Crawling bombs everywhere. He will be there scared. There are. Now. There was the first one. Yeah, oh, nice shot. He's, he, he keeps pushing. He, well, no, wait, no, he's not even paying attention to this. I don't think. Anyway, let's see. Where is he paying attention to? Well, he is actually paying attention to this. What the heck? He's just going for it. He just doesn't care. But now he should. Arr, that is very, very. And more very... roaches coming in. All these ravagers are about to die. The roaches. Oh, that is cool. They are going this behind will... the ravagers oh. to cut off the retreat. I like this a lot. Down a bunch of ravagers go. Immediately, that wasn't the. Best position, but that it still works very, out nicely. If one of those roaches would have been shot in the middle of the, his own units, <laughs> he would have lost his entire army himself. But that doesn't work with Ravagers. The Ravagers just can't hit the roaches that easily. The projectile uh, too was slow. Clicking <laughs> oh, Over, the sponge going to go for a raven counterattack, tearing apart all these defenses. But the difference doesn't have to worry about roaches in the air. The difference in, in army value and income aren't that big. They no, still they keep aren't. up. They uh, are uh, neck and neck. But the fact that the Ravager Ball did go away is a big deal, and admittedly, there's a Raven Ball now. He needs to be able to take care of that pretty easily. But I now, um, well, Lurie there are has flails coming up. To cheap Raiders, which he hasn't had all game. Yes. Well, at least, I mean, Raiders that can actually do damage. Yeah, the bandits are definitely what this Louder needs. Now he's going to finally find the Air Factory. But yeah, I should point out that there are flails being just pushed out. That's all the Hovercraft Factory is doing now, so that. Raven Ball is not going to last very long at all. Um, it's yeah. going to die. Uh, nice raiding defenders. in the northwest. Okay. He's uh, lacking energy at the moment. Oh yeah, Lowry is a little low in power. The wind generators all kind of slowed down to a crawl. A little bit problematic for him, but still, he still has 44 power coming in. And you can, again, production, you can fine. see how Sponge lacks the late game constructor and he doesn't keep rebuilding Maxis. He doesn't do the macro and the multitasking. Well, that he is a bit of a does, problem. Do, how many constructors? He has, he has one constructor. He has two, I think. No, he has one. You're Where? right. You're very right. He only has the single mason building up an air plant, but he, I think he's just trying to end the game quickly rather than try to go yeah. into late game. I mean, that's not uncommon in 0k. Most games don't go past 10 minutes, so getting practice in the 15 minute plus late game is not something that comes up a whole lot. It's an infrequent occurrence, but ah, Lowry's getting his his energy problems are solved in a minute. Getting a fusion <laughs> reactor in the northeast side of the map and the sponge on the other hand <laughs> look at uh, the, the, the turrets yeah. he uh, Lowry built in the lower right corner. <laughs> Oh, wow. He, he doesn't want to have it raided by uh, Scorchers. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to worry about Scorchers. Hasn't had to worry about Scorchers for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's not the I problem. Think they w and there, are, there have been so many turrets have been built 
that Scorchers and Light Raiders don't work anymore. It's basically, yeah. I think most of the map is covered by defenders and LTs. Hence the rubber to ball. Yeah, the oh, rubber but now ball. it's a waste of shadows. Ah, what are you doing? Are they fight move or something? The Ravager Ball is definitely a problem, but once that's... Uh, actually, that's set up again. How many... Where are the roaches? That's what I want to know. I think you'll build them again when the attack starts. Yeah, there are no roaches up right now, unfortunately, for Lowry. He does have everything else, though. He does have maces and scalpels. So he's definitely in a good position, but... It's going to be tough. Pushing it once again with... Well, soon to be pushing it once again with these Ravagers. And there they come in. The Sponge has switched over to line moving from point moving. Which from this flank position is definitely a good idea. And he is go, doing go. a nice Splash job. No, nope, it's... Yeah, but it is... The Ravagers are clumping uh, up again. Now this is when Roaches will be very useful. But even then, the Scalpels are doing a great job. The Mace is unfortunately getting caught out in the middle. Or one of them getting caught out in the middle. Going I think down. again, this is an even trade. And uh, Lowry will get to reclaim claim again. Well, that's not an even trade. That's Lowry wins. Lowry slowly yeah, okay. but surely I mean, builds up and builds up and builds up. I mean, his economy right now... Just look at his economy. He's got 50, 65 yeah, he's metal. he's behind 30, by a lot now. 38. His fusion plant's this. up. He has enough caretakers to use all this metal. And he's getting roses as well, just for good measure. Lowry has this game in the bag. The sponge Besides just, that, Sponge's, most of Sponge's army is in planes. <laughs> yeah, the vast majority of Sponge's army is ravens. Which, while useful, are not going to be especially effective given the amount of flails that have been built. I mean, there's eight flails right now. That'll take care of everything. The comms knife is no wow. longer a concern. That happened a while ago. And there aren't really any juicy targets. I suppose you could go from the south side like, to the center, come up north from the center east side of the map, and then kill off the caretakers. At least that would slow down Lowry somewhat. But how are these going to do this? Going for frontal assault once again. The Raven's coming to support... The Ravagers, but the Ravens, unfortunately, are going to get torn apart by the Flails. We'll be able to help no, get rid of the scalpels. This will take care of most of uh, those heavy hovercrafts. Something yeah. happened in the middle. I missed it. Crap. <laughs> I think those were roaches. Oh, yes, they were. But they only got rid of one mace from the looks of it. It looks like they got too close to the defenders and blew up. That was mispositioning by Loud, unfortunately. And oh, that's self destruct that roach. And there goes the roach. There, that roach is just about to go off. Is it Why go? is it the tech moving? Just I don't know, but it's it. gone. There it goes in the center. <laughs> Decent amount of damage. Unfortunately, needed it. Oh, you have to uh, do that by hand. <laughs> don't leave that to the auto micro. He's not listening, I know, but yeah. Well, at any rate. And yeah, the sponge is definitely not listening. Going back to point moves. That line move was a coincidence. Lowry, on the other hand, I don't know why I'm pointing that out so much, but Lowry, on the other hand, is, oh, I, do, I do know, because the Ravagers keep clumping up and giving the Roaches easy targets. Yep. Now, what's curious sponge. is that the Sponge has not tried to escalate this. He's not gone for He has stuck to his guns or, for a while now. He's not gone for Striders or Tac Nuke or anything that would try to end the game or break up these areas. Besides Lowry's just pushing more Ravagers. Forward. He's claiming ground. Sponge isn't. And reclaiming a bunch of resources as well. With six roaches in play, I should point out. These This Ravager Ball is about to die once again, and I think with that, the sponge isn't going to have much hope. However, the sponge is actually going along the southeast side and probably going to come up north. I'm really curious, what does the sponge I know about I was trying this? to bump the... Okay, he does he know what the defenders... Of the two metal extractors. That yeah, be, he uh... knows about all this stuff, and now he is coming in... Just counting out, actually. He didn't even know what was here. Just wanted to see what was oh, here. He's going to bump the Stardust. Oh, why? Possibly wants to throw his Ravagers in there? I don't know. Should really bomb out the Metal Extractors and... Okay, gets out two of them. Gets rid of two Metal Extractors, that's good. Though Overdrive right now is Lowry's economy but driver. I don't think it's worth to throw 2,000 2, Metal of Bombers into... Not when your opponent has 100 Metal Income. <laughs> Mostly from <laughs> exactly. Reclaim, but still. 100 some odd Metal Income with 123 well, here metal, come the Ravagers. 120 Energy Income. And all the uh, roaches well, are on the wrong right. side of the map. The mazes are on the wrong side of the map. I'm, like, well, this is what I meant. He's going to try to kill off the south side. Or at least distract with the south side. He, Getting he's rid of the... suggesting he's going to kill, attack the south side, but he actually is going through the center. Well, he attacked south center through up to the center east, but that is still a good distraction. So Raven's coming in to deal with this. Defenders, God knows what. What the heck? I've never seen and this now many he anti air as a distraction for the Ravagers. Well, that's so fine, because we need, he needs the scalpels to kill these guys off. And the roaches yeah, as well. The roaches, one of the roaches does Ooh. come in. 
There it goes. Oh, uh, that was a bad chain explosion. That's not how you use roaches. Uh, I want to touch no. those roaches. <laughs> that was that was painful. I'm sure Lowry was so pissed that that just happened, or is so pissed that just happened. This is not a replay, uh, but, but Sponge is still retreating. It's okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Lowry has 23 <laughs> maces. He is fine. Yeah, I mean, Lowry has, uh, has three times the economy. Losing those roaches isn't that big a deal. He has some base for each uh, Ravager. Wow, you're right. Yeah. 24 maces and 26 Ravagers. This is Lowry's game to lose, and I don't think he's going to anytime soon. Bit of raiding by the sponge in the center, but ultimately, Lowry has more map control. He's slowly but surely gaining the northwest. I mean, he's gaining the sponge's natural expansion. The sponge is doing some raiding along the south, but that was tricky territory for Lowry to begin with. I think Lowry is... Just gonna build up one last force and push. Where are those roaches, though? Ah, there's one. There are two roaches, actually rather nicely positioned. Although, I know, never mind, one's in a crater the Ravagers are never gonna go into. But the other one's okay. Now, the sponge, building more defenders in the center of the map is, why is he doing that? I guess because all the maces, but at this point, I don't know. No change. Oh no, change in strategy. A heavy tank factory being built. So that is something to be noted. Heavy tank factory being built up, and shield ball factory going for felons with an airplane plant coming up for Lowry. So felon ball is what. That's Lowry was going for. I was right eventually. Although admittedly, the bandits were much more useful at this point. The felons should. Probably do nothing. I mean, there's so many Ravagers and Ravagers to tank out the Felon shots. I'm not sure exactly what the point of Felon Ball is right now. At any rate, Ravagers coming in here to get rid of the Stardust once again in the north. That is a lot of Stardust. Once again, I'm not sure what the point of the Stardust is. I would think a few Stingers would be more useful, but still, it's damaged anyway. Uh, it's, it's a lot of splash damage, and it's a lot. That's true, but it's not a lot of individual shot damage. Which against Ravagers, they can get out and repair what they've they, been doing. They have a DPS of 360, 75. They maul everything. Oh, that's true. Okay. And the splash is just a bonus on top of it. I think yeah, you I can Stingers think like of a Stardust. Uh, it's about uh, the same as three or four LTs. So if you shoot two or, f two or three Stardusts, you're looking at eight to 12 LTs. Right, but a Reaper is coming up for the Sponge, and the Stardust probably won't do too much against this. Over a Ravager stuck in a hole. Got stuck in a uh, pit of... Well, of explosions, really. From the looks of it. But yeah, that Ravager's just stuck there. However, at the same time, a bunch of Bombers coming in to get rid of the Maces. The uh, Flail's gonna take him out, first. and the Maces won't even go down. I think one might have gone down. Maybe. Totally not worth it. No, and at this point, the Flails are pushing in so close, the Bombers have no chance. They can't do anything. They're going to shot out of the sky before they even attack. And the sponge, pointing out the obvious, the game is indeed insane. Not much more to be said about that. This game has lost all impressions of sanity. However, Ravager Ball coming in. Ace the sponge race. trying to go for this kill, <laughs> while at the same time, Mace is coming in, trying to kill Lowry. Oh, watch we Stardust. are indeed going for a base trade, but I think that Lowry, well, Lowry's got the win here. I mean, Lowry pretty much has an entire base in the north on top of his main. And the sponge hasn't got much other than what's being destroyed right now. So this Reaper not even up yet, not even halfway. Sponge doing what he can though. He will be able to get rid of quite a lot in the main base. But the Roach is coming back to defend. This may actually bite Lorian in the butt a bit. Again, a tech move on the Roaches, that's not good. And Fusion Blank goes down. Roach is coming in and one of them, well actually this one here does a pretty decent job of the splash, but the other two, not sure what they're going to do. And actually, you should compare the DPS and Stinger. Stinger DPS is 189. Oh, okay, on. you got a point. Stardust is a good point. Ravager's not going down. Why are the Roaches not exploding? Now exploding, killing off a lot of what's going on in the main base. Lowry destroyed more of his base than the Sponge did. But at the same time, Lowry destroyed all of the Sponge's base. The Sponge only has a defender nest and throws in the towel. That is it. That is the game, GG. folks. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> I... Why take any risks when you can make turrets? <laughs> well, evidently, because you want to win the game. So nicely done, Lowry. That